Hi. Um, the H4N Pro Handy Recorder, right? The audio recorder from Zoom. I want to show you today how to update your firmware and how to check your firmware. So when you turn the device on, like this, um, we do have problems sometimes that it takes forever to um, turn on. Um, that can happen if you use the wrong SD card. <coughs> In my case, I use a 2 gigabyte. Don't do larger ones. 2 gigabyte of the old style SD cards, those are working with this. If you do anything more than that, or newer cards, it may not work at all, or it takes forever to boot up. So we have no card inserted, and we go to the menu button that is here on the side. There's a menu button, we can push that in. And then you can use the scroll wheel here to scroll down to system. There. If you push the scroll wheel in, you select that selection, and then you can scroll down. Right now we use a nickel metal hydrate battery to version. Click on that, <clears throat> and we see that I have the firmware version 1.01. .01. That's great, but if you want to use this with, uh, let's say, Windows 10 or higher, <coughs> excuse me, then you need to update to version 1.10. You can find that on their website. Let me show you here. On the website, you have a user manual, you have firmware, everything you need. Now, to exit this menu, you would push again here on the menu button. Then you're in the main menu. Um, I can only recommend, before you do the update, to have fresh batteries inserted. Now I have rechargeable batteries in here right now. So I want to change this to alkaline battery. Get out of here. Turn the system off. And then open the battery um, compartment here, one to the left, and then lift up. Okay, you see I have two batteries in here. I'm going to pull on this tab to get the battery out. There's the one, there's the other. Now we're going to insert alkaline batteries for our update. Okay, I got those from uh, Costco. They're pretty good. There goes one. Oh. Process. There. And you check the direction how you insert them, right? The minus ground goes to the spring and the positive here on the other side. Okay. Push this over to the left. There. Now we insert it. Okay. To make sure that the batteries work really, let's turn it back on. There, it turns on, and you will see the firmware version, the old one in here. It shows this on the corner always, when it boots up. Not this time, there. And then we see full battery, okay? Let's turn it back off. Okay, now we insert the SD card where we copied our .bin file on there, right? We just dragged and dropped it onto this card. Plug the card in. And now, when you turn it on, nothing is going to happen. So if you turn it on, it won't do the firmware update. There is a little trick to it, and let me explain or show this to you now. Okay, we have to turn it back off. So you have to push the play button down, play button, hold this, and then turn it on. Okay. So now you're going to see um, a system update screen, okay? You see here, it shows version 1.01 to 1.10. Okay, so you can now use the scroll wheel on the side. See that? To basically select this OK section. Can I hold this closer? Oh, why would my camera not uh, focus? There, see this? 
With the scroll wheel, you can go to the OK thing, click on that and select it. Now it says checking data. And now it's copying the firmware onto the onto the um, to the unit here. Let's keep power on. That doesn't take all too long, does it? When it says version up, that means version upgrade. See, now it's verifying the data after it voted. And if everything is okay, it will say complete. That's what it says. And then it asks you to power it off, right? So let's power it off. Yeah. And now when we turn it back on, there was the new version in the corner, 1.10. And we can go in here now in the menu to system to version to see that we have the new firmware version in there. If you want, you can switch back to your rechargeable batteries. and switch back to your rechargeable batteries um, that is a decision you can make in my case here I found it safer to do the firmware update with a set of reliable batteries since I don't know the charge on those very old batteries in here the unit itself is also not the youngest but it still works, and it's a great recorder. There you go. Ready to record. See, the batteries were only half full.